folks good morning how are you today my friends look at what i have here uh this is pnc hook size four this is a beautiful jig that i make uh frost white painted that white color and then i make the little uh spots in there if you can see that i paint that in different colors and i think and i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like this so don't forget to subscribe and like the video and see what you guys think about this and i decided to put some b in this because for me b seems to catch a lot of big crappies and it's gonna match a little bit the head because this is pink light pink bees uh this is size uh the b is a size six you can find this in walmart in different colors and black blue you name it and the head here my friend this color have a uh, 17 colors in that jig right there it's got black green red purple yellow white uh green olive lemon chartreuse and red it's got so many colors there so let's go stop talking guys and let's go tie this jig first what you want to do is you want to put some glue into the hook chain to stick the bees there and make a stable there the bees so make sure you put a lot of glue in it and just slice the bees up here okay i want to use mano i like to use mano for this jig here so start wrapping your mano behind those bees so you can start locking those bees so i want to take this off here it's really easy to make this jig guys and catches a lot of crappies so start wrapping and make you sure you tie that really good as soon as you don't see that moving that means it's slack so this is not going to go nowhere okay i've been tying this for a while so so i'm pretty sure that's good it's locked in place cannot move anywhere looks beautiful okay all right now for this jig because it got so many colors in the head i decided to tie that marabou behind here and i mix those colors so what i have here i want to show you guys that i have here i have so many colors in here I got uh, purple, white, orange, uh, red, and green olive, and a uh, little bit of um, uh, chartreuse in the middle here. If you can see that really close to the camera there. It's got a lot of colors here, guys. So that's what I mix those colors for the specific for this jig here. So I want to take a mayor, guys. I'm not going to put long tail so i want to make sure that tail there so i'm going to bring this here in my trash can and tie this i mean it cut this off you just put it right there on top of the hook chain guys okay and then just tie this up really good okay tie that really good just like that so in a few seconds you're just gonna see that I just trying to push that materials a little bit down so it can be around the circle, circle hook here, and tie them up. Okay, and that's it, guys. This is all you need. If you can see the tail, guys, here, it's got red, it's got purple. If you go around, it's got orange, and then a little bit of lemon and chartreuse and light pink. And a little bit uh chartreuse inside in the tail here so pretty much you got seven colors in the tail plus all these colors in the head there so now me personal i like to tie here a little bit uh dabin here because i'm not gonna tie any dabin here because i put so many materials in the tail so if i put more dabin here in this spot here where the thread is what that's going to happen is it's going to make that so fat in here. So I don't want to make that because it's, if you make that so fat, it's going to be a little bit bigger than the bees. And you don't want to do that. So you just want to take my wet finish here, guys, and tie this guy up. 
And I think, guys, believe it or not, it's going to catch crappie. Three, four, five, six, seven. That should be plenty enough, guys. It's not going to slide off at all. Okay, just cut this off. And this thing is done, my friend. Check this out. Oh, my God. Look at those bees there, man. Look at the head, man. Looks beautiful. Let's go. Let's put some... Um, a little bit um, uh, hard snails into the bees, into the thread too. And that should be fine. That should be good. We'll really glue into the thread there and then just a little bit into the bees and make that good and shiny color there. And look at this jig, my friend. This is one of my favorite ones. If I go fishing, I always carry this fish, in, I mean this jig in my bag. I always carry that in my bag because bees for me is number one. I don't care anybody says. The bee jigs for me kills a lot of crappies. I mean, we're talking about big crappies. I'm not talking about little guys. I don't know. I'm not a fish. I don't know what the heck was going on with those bees, but catches a lot of big crappies. So let me take this out of my vise and put it over here in my hole here. You guys can see much better. Really close to the camera here. And look at what I have here, my friend. This jig here, man, catches a lot of crappies, man. Look at this. You see the tail there, the head, man. Look at all those colors there. You can see that he has so many colors. That if you really uh, look at that really close to that, you will see the amazing colors that I put in this jig here. Look at the tail there. Okay, I'm not putting any flashing because this jig, even if you don't put flash in it, catches a lot of crap, you guys. Uh -huh. Check this out. So please, guys, make sure you make a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, multicolored jig that I make myself. And I paint them. I think I did a really cool job. And I think I, have, I, I, will, I will catch a lot of crappy with this. And I think I will uh, deserve a like. And subscribe my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Make thumbs up for more videos. And let's keep tying jigs, guys. Um, the spring is coming uh, really faster, and you never know that the spring is going to be here yet soon, really soon, and you better be ready for that because when the spring is here, you're ready to be ready and catch a lot of big crappies. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.